I'd like to introduce you to Jeff Gordon of HTC. Hello, hello. How's it going, guys? Happy to be here. I would like to personally see the Vivid. The Vivid? Yes. The HTC Vivid on AT&T. This is uh, an LTE device running on AT&T's network. It launched, oops, uh, bring this back to the main menu so you can see it. Launched uh, about a month ago or so. You've had patent problems and uh, copyright problems with this phone, haven't you? Uh, you know, we've, we've had uh, some issues uh, in the news and whatnot. Unfortunately, I can't go into uh, legal details and ongoing matters, but, uh, you know, some, some things, as you know, in this industry, there's all kinds of uh, legal issues and patent issues that are cropping up all the time. HTC is no different, so yeah, we're working through those things. What is the name of that company that is after you for this phone? Uh, what do you mean exactly? Uh, for the copyright and... Uh uh, patent infringements. Well, you're, you're referring specifically to the to the name of the device. Yes. Ah, uh, I thought you were referring to maybe some of the uh, you know the technical patents and whatnot. Yeah. So there there is evidently uh, an adult film company uh, called Vivid Entertainment that believes that um, this device could get confused for one of their products, which seems pretty odd to me personally. Um, so yeah, uh, you know we're working through that, and um, unfortunately don't have an update on where that stands right now. But we definitely believe that this is an HTC device that's not going to get confused with adult entertainment. What if it, uh, Jenna Jameson used one of those phones? Uh, still, I don't think people are going to think that uh, HTC is making devices branded with the adult entertainment industry. That's me personally. I don't know. What do you think? Well, I think um, actually as a tribute to Vivid Entertainment, we should explore this phone as if we were in a cheesy porn scene. <laughs> I don't know about that, but... No, 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 I'm walking into a store right now, and I'm like, hey, I'd like to buy a phone. <laughs> I've got a really sexy one here. Oh, enough words. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> none of that, none of that. We're, we're a very wholesome company. You sure? Indeed we are. Really? Very much so. Why'd you name it Vivid? You know, Vivid is a great name, just as is the, the Resound great name. But that's what they said over at Vivid Entertainment. Well, well, we'll see what happens on that front. Are they a wholesome family company? That I wouldn't know. <laughs> no, no comments? No, no comments on that. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> you can take that, I guess, however you want. I will. Okay, all right. <laughs> I know you will. So this is the uh, HTC Resound on Verizon. It's an LTE device with uh, Beats Audio, as you can see with the, the headphones there. And it's running a, uh, a dual-core uh, 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon processor, so uh, super fast. Um, 8 megapixel camera on the back, uh, takes really phenomenal photos, and uh, all in all, it's just a, a, a top device for us. Oh, one thing that I, I should mention, obviously, is the HD display. I mean, people are just going crazy about the uh, 720p uh, display here. So, uh, highest resolution device that, or, uh, screen that we've ever put on a device. And in fact, if you do the math, it's uh, got the best um, pixel resolution uh, of any device on the market right now. How does it compare to, say, the, uh, the, the Amaze 4G or even the Resound? Uh, Sorry, the vivid. So, I mean, you know, it depends on uh, obviously what carrier you're on and, and what you're looking for. Uh, I'm a Verizon guy myself, so I would choose this one. Uh, in terms of, you know, speed and that kind of thing, they're very similar devices. This one's going to have a better screen. It's got the Beats Audio, whereas the Vivid doesn't. But uh, both of them top-notch devices, definitely. So, just a few upgrades and then a new phone? Uh, yeah, yeah, essentially. Isn't the Titan 2 kind of like that, too? The, the Titan 2 is it's very similar to the original Titan, but we've uh, added LTE. It's our very first LTE Windows Phone device. And of course, the camera on the back is 16 megapixels, which is the highest uh, resolution camera we put on a phone. Yeah, that is, it's, it's enormous. Yeah, yeah. Um, doesn't that kind of go against what HTC said in 2011 about their plans for 2012, as in uh, they were going to release fewer devices by incorporating more of the uh, features that they, they just got a hold of from I, I think, you know, a lot of our, our operator partners will continue to want to see uh, unique devices and exclusives and that type of thing. But I think that what you're going to see from us is, is very much a focus on bigger bets in 2012. And so um, 2011, obviously, we had a, a lot of devices, a lot of events launching the devices, a lot of, um, uh, you know, just frankly, um, you know, people had some difficulty keeping track with, with the number of devices that we put out there. And so from a marketing standpoint and a PR standpoint, you're going to see us really focus in and hone in on the big, big bets for 2012. So that way it'll, it'll definitely be clear to people what are those big bets. And do you think that, in your personal opinion, not HTC's, uh, is the Titan part of that plan or not? Um, Titan 2. The Titan 2. Um, you know, tough, tough to say. I, I think that 
probably in the, in the very near future, you're going to see some, some really, really phenomenal devices from HTC, and, uh, and you'll, you'll know those are very big bet devices, certainly. All right. Thank you very much, Jeff. It's good to see you again. Absolutely. Good to see you, Jeff. <laughs> uh, yeah.